Hello from Spore IT and welcome to the Quantity Discount App tutorial video. I'm gonna show you how to set the app up and make it work for you. I have the app already installed on my web store, here it is. This app allows you to offer to your customers tiered pricing that motivates them to buy more and set up different discounts for different quantities of products. So let's start and create our first tiered pricing rule. I'll name my first tier Buy More. This internal name won't be shown on the storefront. In the next section we should set the tiered pricing conditions and discount rates. You can create as many tiers as you want, there are no limitations. You can select a discount type, as a percentage or as a fixed amount. Using the app you can create offers like buy X and get one free. Let's give a 10% discount for 2 or more items, a 15% discount for 5 or more items and a 20% discount for 10 or more items. In the next field you should write the headline text for the widget. You can see the widget preview below this field. Design can be customized in the design section of the app. In the next section we have to select target products the quantity discount will be applied to. Please note that the app doesn't work with smart collections that have been created automatically using conditions. Let's select this Nescafe coffee for this offer. Using the checkbox in the next section you can provide a discount for multiple product variants. So if this box is checked then the customer will get a discount even if he added multiple product variants to his cart. Please note that the app doesn't apply discounts across different products. It works with each product separately. Ok, we have created the first tiered pricing rule. Let's take a look at the settings section of the app and complete the setup. In the first block we have to set the widget's location and price selectors. The app sets up selectors for all popular themes automatically. If you want to change these settings, then you can do it here. Let's select the widget's location first. After clicking the choose and click button which will redirect me to a random product page of my store, I should press the shift button and select an element relative to which the widget will be placed and then select position before or after the element. Don't forget to click save after the selection. The same thing should be done with the following three selectors. Please note that you must select the price elements exactly. I will do it now to show you how to do it correctly. The choose and click function may not work on some themes because all themes are different and specific, so please contact us if it doesn't work correctly and we will configure it in a flash. If your current theme uses an Ajax pop-up or a slider card, then you should configure the app to work with it. Here you should select the price elements and checkout button of the Ajax card the same way you did in the previous tab. Please note that if you change your store theme you'll need to repeat the selection process again. The next checkbox allows you to show the customer's savings on the cart page. In this field you can write a message to tell a customer how much he will save. The column div variable will show the saved amount. You can place this text next to the product price, product total, cart subtotal or a combination of them if you want. In the order settings section you can set the tag applied to orders with tiered products. In the last section of the app settings you can select a widget text template. You also can create your own by selecting the custom radio button. As you can see in the description of this section, you can use the variables shown in square brackets to use dynamic content in your widget. So the Q in square brackets will stand for tier quantity, the E in square brackets will stand for the price of each product with discount, the T in square brackets will stand for the total price with discount, and the D in square brackets will stand for discount as a percentage. Ok, now let's check how it works on the storefront. Here is the app's widget, let's add two items to the cart. Yes, it works well, now let's change the quantity to 5. Perfect, now let's click the checkout button and see if the discount is applied there. It works great, but please note that the app works only with the checkout button and it cannot apply its discounts if a customer clicks some other button, like the buy now button on product pages or the paypal button on the cart page. But don't worry, a customer will still be able to use paypal on the checkout page. Now let's take a look at the design section of the app. The 
The app has 10 different widget templates. Let's select one of them and change its look to make it fit the store. Looks nice, let's check the storefront. It fits perfectly. And that's all. If you face any difficulties or need personal design adjustments, please don't hesitate to contact us by using the built-in chat inside of the app or email our support team at the email address you see on the screen. Our fast and friendly support team is available 24-7 and we are always glad to help you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please click like, subscribe to our channel and leave 5-star reviews in the Shopify App Store. Good luck to your business, sell more and stay awesome.